This is 19, the Malebrouche theorem. This is a very important theorem. We have to, we have to prove this by mathematical induction that the cos of theta plus i sine theta to the power n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. So I'm assuming that you've done a bit of mathematical induction. So first of all, um, we'll show it's true for n equals 1. Okay, so 4 n equals 1 the left hand side equals cos theta plus i sine theta and the right hand side again is equal to the cos of theta plus i sine theta on substituting in n equals 1. Therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and we'll call this little star up there. Therefore this is true for n equals 1. Now we're going to assume true. We're going to assume this is true for n equals some value k. So uh, that is the cos of theta plus i sine theta to the power k equals cos k theta plus i sine k theta. We'll call that number one. Now we're going to prove this is true for n equals k plus 1. That is, i.e., that is, we're going to have the cos of theta plus i sine theta to k plus 1 is equal to the cos of k plus 1 theta plus i sine of k plus 1 theta. And we'll call that number 2. Now I'm going to multiply, multiply both sides of 1 by the cos of theta plus i sine of theta. This makes the left hand side the same as the left hand side of number 2, so that becomes the cos of theta plus i sine theta to the k plus 1 equals cos of k theta plus i sine of k theta times the cos of theta plus i sine of theta. Okay, now let's need to rub this off a bit so I can I might move it down a bit a tad. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Now, this part here, I'll just rub that bit off there. A bit more room. Now, looking at this side here, this one's equals. We might be moving the brackets, we get cos k theta cos theta minus sine k theta sine theta plus i outside of this will be the sine of k theta cos theta and this one will be plus sine theta cos k theta. Now this equals the cos of the plus sign becomes cos of k theta plus theta plus i sine of this is k theta plus theta. And that is equal to the cos of 
k plus 1 theta taking theta as a common factor plus i the sine of k plus 1 theta. And that equals the right hand side of 2. So therefore, this is true for n equals k plus 1. Now it's now this expression is true, or the theorem is true for n equals 1. So by mathematical induction, by mathematical induction, it is true for all n greater than equal to 1. Now, this is also true for um, negative powers as well, but we, we won't look at that particular proof. So we've, um, we've proved by induction for positive n that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power n is equal to cos n theta plus i sine n theta. A really, really useful and very, very powerful proof.